Hey there, this is Ilze B. I teach Latvian for English speakers. I'll pick up from where I left in my previous video. I asked you to imagine that you are a little baby. This is a good exercise to get used to the sound of a new language and to train yourself at noticing separate words in the language flow. Some, perhaps, though, felt a little frustrated as you were going through that exercise. But you shouldn't be. This is a normal phase that one needs to ease into. The good news is that you are not a baby and there are other methods that you can use to speed things up. So, let's get to the next competency. Competency number three is reading and pronouncing the words correctly, namely reading aloud correctly. This is very important for English speakers who do not live in Latvian speaking environment. In order to learn the word, you need to know how to pronounce it, because then you will memorize it correctly. So when you do start learning to read, pay attention to letters with diacritics. Diacritics are those little marks above or below Latvian letters. Look at these two words. The first word is pronounced chalis and the second word is pronounced tsalis. Each of these words mean a different thing. The meaning of the first word chalis is dude and the meaning of the second word is a chick or a chicken. So you certainly don't want to call a dude a chick, right? Also, when you learn reading, learn the difference between the long vowel and a diphthong. Those concepts differ between Latvian and English. For instance, how would you pronounce this vowel? You think it's E? You are wrong. In Latvian, this vowel is pronounced E, like you pronounce it in the English word egg. I'll show you how E is spelt in Latvian. This is the vowel E. It's a long vowel. How you can tell that it's a long vowel is by its diacritical mark above it. Why is it long? Well, because you pronounce it longer. E, you don't stop it immediately like it would be E. And this is what E looks like. You want to call it I? No, because I clearly is a diphthong. The position of your mouth changes. You hear a, e, I. This is the Latvian I. This is the Latvian diphthong. Let me test you. Look at this lady. This is her name. How would you pronounce it? Would you say Aita? No, it's Ita. And if you say Aita, you spell it like this. But don't call her Aita. Aita is this animal. And although it is a cute animal, it might offend Ita. But now, let's move ahead. Competency number four for the beginner learners is reading the text and understanding its structure. Learning structures take some time. I have created an online course and going through that course would take as minimum 10 weeks. In that course, I teach the basic structures in Latvian. My Latvian language course is called Learn with LZB, Latvian for English speakers. It's a beginner's course. How I teach structures. I teach Latvian through English because that's the language that you know. And 
I have to tell you that I really don't believe that immersion method used exclusively is an efficient method. An immersion method is a method where only the target language, in this case Latvian, would be used in teaching. That would mean that I would use no English at all when teaching you Latvian. And that is not how I teach Latvian. How to learn Latvian efficiently from me? Since I teach Latvian through English, I also use English linguistic terms to explain structures in Latvian. If you have forgotten what a subject and an object is, as well as about articles, prefixes, suffixes, etc., get a cheat sheet from me and revise. It's free and it's in English. I'll put a link in the comments section under this YouTube video, but you can also visit my website and get an access to my glossary of terms and demo sheets. Also, press the subscribe button so that you don't miss a continuation of this class. And that's it from me now, but I'll be back to finish this lesson.